What's up? This is Square2440 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. And today we'll be moving to the new tow shop on the brand new map. And we will be first making our way over there with a brand new supervisor truck. This will be a Ram 3500 dually with a light bar on it. And this will be perfect for towing the car trailer when we will need to use that for some towing or some repos. So we'll kind of pull out here, close the garage door, and make our way over to the shop where I will be showing you guys that we did use it in the past and we are also downsizing the entire towing company, repoing company, which will be very nice. But take a look at that guys. This is another house on the map that has working garage doors and that's awesome how we have uh, houses and shops around the map that really do function and that's going to be pretty cool. So we'll kind of pop on the inside here and I do appreciate all of you guys requesting this. This was a very highly requested video within the last few weeks as we've been beta testing this map and we are doing a lot of work to this map so stay tuned for all those cool videos but we'll kind of make our way over there to the shop and this is the one that we used to use. I feel like this one fits the towing company a little bit more than the older one that we used to use which was like a warehouse but it's pretty nice to change up the shops and everything like that. We'll put our indicator on and we'll kind of turn over here and as you guys can see we are coming up on the back of the shop. I mean this shop will fit all of our trucks just enough which will be nice but take a look at that we do need to lower this down just a little because there's a very large bump here which is pretty easy to do but we have a very nice five bay garage that's going to be awesome we'll be putting the really large tow trucks over here then the wreckers and we have a brand new service truck which we will also be checking out and it might not clear the ceiling but we'll have to give it a try and we might need to pretty much remove that car lift so we'll kind of walk back over here and we'll make our way over to the uh, store and like I was saying guys we'll be bringing everything over here setting it up and then I think we'll be heading back to the house and there is uh, two areas where you can walk out and it's going to be very nice when we do a functioning gates I am working on those so that's going to be awesome but we'll kind of make our way over there and this is a very bright orange it looks awesome but I think that we might need to get us a, a tow hitch one that is raised because the one on here is just a little too low but take a look at all of these tow trucks I mean guys those look awesome so we'll first kind of back up and attach to this trailer and then we'll kind of take a walk through of all of them so we'll back up here looks like that's good we could just use our uh, arms to kind of lift it in place and now look that trailer is very high in the back so we definitely need to lift it but take a look at this new tow truck lineup we are running with four different three different tow trucks and a service truck so this is a brand new 2017 Ford F650 Super Duty with a service bed it's going to be perfect for going out to calls with broken down vehicles over here we have the Ram 3500 repo edition since it's all blacked out and I mean this thing will be perfect for some repos especially at night we are going to be using the Chevy uh, record here which is the self loading we do actually have the tow hook on here with the working winches and everything like that so that's going to be pretty cool it looks awesome and we have this brand new Kenworth this just came out within the last day or so so this is awesome it is a giant so this will use for towing the larger heavier trucks and we might even add this into the heavy rescue fleet so I think we will get started by bringing this trailer over there and kind of I would say leave the truck over there that way we don't have to keep coming back and one of the best things about this shop is it's on the commercial side of the town not really on the residential side but I'm thinking that if we can we'll try to fit this into the area uh, one of the doors and as you guys can see we do have some floating chicken there are some bugs around the map so we'll kind of pull in here let's just take a look if we can if not it actually looks like the trailer is just a little too wide so we'll just put it around back and then back it into the corner and I don't think we really need to get any uh, I would say let's just say any uh, shelters for the trailer since it is only a trailer it's fine to be outside so we will back this up trying actually looks like this might cause us some problems we'll just back it up against the fence I guess that might be a little bit better so we'll kind of turn around here very tight area to move around but yeah we'll just kind of back it up over here 
and it's right behind the lawn care shop and we actually did a few videos over there within the last few days so go check those out and if you haven't already I do recommend you subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss a new video on the channel and I actually do upload every day so when you do take a look at this I'm thinking that we just move the hitch right to the bumper or yeah I think we'll hook it up right to the bumper that looks to be level how it is which will be nice so I think we'll just kinda of pull this around front kinda of park it and then we'll uh... I think we'll walk over since it's just down the street we'll park this right in front of the office doors and if you guys do have any cool video ideas for me let me know down below in the comments I will just show you guys this look at those lights I think that's great to kinda of use and everything like that so we'll kinda of uh, run over here and I think running back and forth might be more realistic than if we were just to kind of tab over and automatically spawn but these uh, four vehicles are going to be uh, what our towing company will consist of we'll definitely be taking this out maybe on it some uh, repos will take this with a car trailer I think we'll be doing that but we'll hop in the T what is this it's a T 880 I mean this is a giant truck I will show you guys the beacon lights. There will be a mod review on this very soon, but this thing is awesome. We actually used a vi truck very sim similar to this in a, in a semi truck form for a very cool moving a houseboat video. If you guys would like to check that out, but we'll just kind of turn over here and take a look at this inside view. I mean, all of these modders are putting a lot of effort into their mods, and I really do appreciate all of their work. And uh, these mods are awesome and they really do help with making some great quality videos so I'm thinking since this is so big we'll probably park this one in the drive through area garage door and I do like how we only have one of those it's nice to have all of them like that but it is more expensive to kind of uh, install garage doors on them all so we'll kind of see if we could drive this through we might actually need uh, yeah I think we'll probably do that we'll move the trailer to the other area that way we have a larger turning radius and everything like that but it looks like we just were was able to kind of clear which is nice but we'll pull this in looks like that's as much as we could go let's check out the front looks like the front is pretty good so I think right there is good awesome take a look at that this thing looks awesome so we'll kind of close this door and we'll kind of walk around over to it again and since we will be trying to add in a farm and actually there will be a video later today building a marina on this map this will probably be released maybe within the next few weeks if not a little bit longer since we are building a farm but I think the next up is to go from the largest vehicle so we'll hop in the F650 here now like I was saying I'm not sure if this can clear the garage door because I mean this is a very tall tall truck and I did get this off of a page I'm not sure if it was released publicly but it was released on a page and I will have to take a look at that but credits go to their creators for making all of these mods I appreciate it and I say it a lot because they make awesome mods and from the looks of it it just looks like it might let's look at that yes hey guys this will fit in this shop so we'll kind of back up here and if you guys do have any ideas for me to kind of take this f650 cabin build any type of truck let me know we might look into building like a brand new dump truck that would be pretty cool since uh, that would be awesome so it looks like we do not have much clearance on either side so we have to kind of turn this around but it looks like we are just going to fit kind of back in here and we do have that uh whoa looks like we are just going to scrape that we do have a car lift which will probably move back a little but take a look at that we fit the f650 in here which is nice we'll walk back over here we'll just kind of run through the grass and i think we'll kind of come over here shoot one hoop of uh basketball that's cool how i kind of incorporated all of the sport fields we have a baseball field a football field and a soccer field and a basketball course we have a lot of different types and that's pretty cool we probably will be coming by shooting a few hoops every now and then but we'll hop in this truck and it looks like i do have a mod confliction because these led lights only work without a few of the mods in my game right now so i'll have to take a look at that but we'll probably go out over here And I really do try my very best to have a lot of realism in this game. The realism really does create for some very unique gameplay, especially since 
I just like to treat this as we would in kind of real life, and a lot of you guys really do like that, which is awesome. And if you do have any cool video ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always open to uh, good video ideas and everything like that. But we actually, uh, for these tow trucks, we actually have spotlights on them, which is pretty cool for when we back up. Awesome, so this fits in here. We'll go get that last truck, and then we'll be, actually, we have to back this up. It won't clear because of the collisions, but we will be closing this up. We'll run over here, we'll get this last truck, and then I think we'll kind of just move that trailer and then call it a day. We'll hop in this truck, and this truck is pretty cool. It does uh, actually change a few controls in my game, especially the uh, mouse controls for the tow trucks and everything like that, but it still is a great truck, and we'll definitely be doing some repoing within the next few days, so if you do have any cool uh, vehicles you guys would like me to repo, anything like that, let me know, but actually take a look at this. We actually have a lot of room. So I'm actually thinking we'll move the F650 over. Yeah, I think that'll be nice because there's all those uh, toolboxes and uh, the tool bench over there. So we'll kind of move this over and then I think we'll call it a day. Now I think this might fit a little bit better and we'll probably park up the supervisor truck in there and then we'll just drive our personal vehicle uh, back and forth to the shop. So since we parked this in here, we can easily exchange the tools from either. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video moving to the new tow shop. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.